Hi, kindergarten mathematicians. Today, we are gonna have such a fun time in math. We are gonna go bowling today. That's right, Miss Barge said we're going bowling in math today. So go woo if you're excited to go bowling in math. Woo! And when we go bowling in math today, we are gonna talk all about the number hanging in the middle. What's that number, boys and girls? What is it? Let me hear it, yell it out. That's right, Addison, it's the number 10. One and zero, a big fat hen. One and zero makes 10, 10, 10. And of course, guess what I have with me today to help me? I have my math tool. It's called a, what is it called boys and girls? It's called a tens frame. That's right, Madison, a tens frame because it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten boxes. It's a tens frame because it has 10 boxes. Today in math, we are gonna find all the ways to make the number 10. That means we're gonna get two parts or two different numbers, and when they go together, they make 10. So that's called combinations to 10, or number pairs to 10, or just different ways to make 10. Today in math, you, that's right, you Santino, you Riley, you Brian, you are going to find out different ways to make 10. So to do that, we're gonna start with some bowling. This is a tens frame. I'm gonna fill it. For my first one, I'm gonna fill it. So if I fill the tens frame, that should mean I'm gonna have 10 bowling pins because there's 10 boxes. So here we go, count with me. One, two, three, four, five. The top row is full, that's always five. And then I keep going and count on to keep filling it up. After five comes six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten bowling pins on a filled tens frame. And I will show you and prove it to you. It is filled. All ten bowling pins are right there on the tens frame. Now, that is our first number pair that makes ten. All ten of the bowling pins are standing up, boys and girls. That means the first number I'm going to write for my number pair or my combination to 10 is the number 10. And it's right there, I can copy it. One and zero, a big fat hen. One and zero makes 10, 10, 10. I have 10 bowling pins standing up and I have no bowling pins knocked down yet. I did not bowl yet, there are no pins down. So that means no pins down, the number that means nothing is zero. So one way to make 10 is to have 10 pieces of something and zero of something else. 10 pins up, zero pins knocked down. Now, of course, I'm gonna go bowling next. I'm gonna go bowling so I can see another number pair or another way to show 10. Don't forget though, that one way to show 10 is 10 and zero. And if you notice, our slight word and is on my math cards today. All right, here we go, let's go bowling. Woo, it's bowl time. Here's my bowling ball. Get my fingers in the holes. Here we go. Three, two, one, bowl. Oh. Oh, I did pretty good. I did pretty good, boys and girls. All right, so to get our next number pair or another way to make 10, I need to look at how many pins are standing up and then look at how many pins are standing down. The pins that are standing up are gonna be my first part. Everybody say part. Part. I'm gonna count them, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six bowling pins standing up. Six is my first part. Make a curve and a loop. There's no tricks, that's a six. Six. Did I write that backwards? No, no, it's good. I always wanna check my work, boys and girls. Six is my first part. And now I wanna look at the pins that fell down, okay? So let me show you them so you can count. One, two, three, four. There are four pins laying down. So that's gonna be my second part. So over here on this side, I have to write the number four. Down and over, down some more. That's how I write the number four. Six and four makes 10. The big numbers on the wall. So when I have six pins standing up and four pins down, 
When you put them all back together, that's gonna make 10. Everybody say six and four makes 10. Good. So, so far we have two number pairs that make 10. Let's see if we can get another one. I'm gonna reset the pins. Say reset, 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 reload. And it's time to bowl again and in three, in two, and in one. Boom. Now look what happened, boys and girls. Look what happened when I bowled. How many bowling pins are standing up? Show you a little closer. How many bowling pins are standing up? I see one, two, and three. I'll count them for you to prove it to you. I'll touch them. One, two, and three. So the first number, that I'm gonna put for my first part is the number three. Around the tree, around the tree. That's how I write the number three. And to find out my other part, the other number I need to make 10, I need to count the ones that are laying down. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven. Let me double check that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven pins are down. That's gonna be my other part. Across the sky, down from heaven. That's how I write the number seven. Three bowling pins standing up and seven bowling pins that got knocked down. When you put them all together, they make a whole, they make the whole number of 10. So today, boys and girls, we're gonna figure out all the different ways. There are many more ways to make 10, and you're gonna discover that with your teacher today. Seven and three, six and four, and 10 and zero. And we're gonna figure out what other ways you can make 10. I also wanna show you this on your fingers. Like if you pop 10 right here, this right here, is already showing you two parts, two parts to make 10. This hand has five, and this hand has five. That's your first part, your second part, and when you put them together, it makes 10. So I could even fill out another board. Look, I got another board here. For my fingers I just showed you, five and five. Five as one part and five as another part is gonna equal a whole number of 10. All right, boys and girls, have fun practicing making parts that equal 10 and identifying the parts that equal 10. Off you go, mathematicians.